seven years ago, I was on a middle school field when a young 12-year-old stepped on the pitch. A ball was passed to him and he played it one touch, ran around a defender, met it on the back end, played it one touch again, ran around the next defender and played it one touch again. Three excellent passes and I stopped everything. I knew back then that I was in the presence of something special. A maestro. Let me tell you something about maestros. You put a team together, 10 players, coach them, and you place a maestro on the field. You do not pretend to coach a maestro. You observe a maestro. You build a team around a maestro. Elon Musk is maestro. Steve Jobs, maestro. These are men and women that have an uncanny ability to control what happens in their world by their movements. Diego Maradona was a maestro. When Diego would sing, the whole nation of Argentina would dance. He is not an ordinary star. Zinedine Zidane, maestro. Andrea Pirlo, maestro. Not just another excellent player, a generation thought leader. On our field, Antonio Morales, maestro. To keep the organization of the team, everyone else has limited touches. Sometimes spoken, sometimes unspoken. The maestro has unlimited touches. The maestro plays the game the way he sees it. Two touches, three touches, five, seven touches, taking on five players at a time, just according to what the game gives. The maestro is a conductor. He is the leader of the orchestra. The maestro is a pace setter. He is the man with the drum. The maestro plays the drum. The band moves according to the mood set by the drum. Juan Roman Riquemi, maestro. Mesut Ozil, maestro. All of them have fascinating leadership characteristics and the qualities to back them. When you go to lead in the world to solve some of the world's toughest problems, you need a maestro, the mastermind, the tenth.